He's the freshly appointed justice minister who sent a former president to prison. Now Sergio Moro is on the defence after a website published what it says are leaked messages from a corruption probe during his time as a judge. I can't even say if these messages are authentic. These are things that happened years ago. Judges speak to prosecutors, judges speak to the lawyers, judges speak to police. That is normal. In the leaked messages, exchanges between Moro and prosecutors, in which he appears to give them advice on the focus and pace of their investigations. The lead prosecutor concerned also denies allegations of collusion, although he has offered an apology of sorts. Even though we don't believe these scattered messages are trustworthy, we do recognize that they're making some people uncomfortable, and we're deeply sorry about that. Moro was the highest-ranking judge in the five-year-long anti-corruption car wash probe, which jailed scores of politicians and business figures. The chief justice was personally responsible for handing a custodial sentence to ex-president Luis Inácio Lula da Silva, a decision that blocked him from seeking re-election last year. Lula's lawyers are now saying his sentence should be overturned. Reaction on the streets is mixed. From what was shown, this calls his impartiality into question. It was a private conversation in a private sphere, so I don't see any misconduct. I can't see anything that would tarnish Sergio Moro's image. Not yet, perhaps, but the site that published the messages is promising that the exchanges between Moro and prosecutors revealed so far are only the tip of the iceberg.